Hello and welcome to my review of the JWC uh, do-it-yourself 2.4 gigahertz camera kit. Um, we will be going over its potential uses as a hobby uh, first-person video camera. So we're going to jump right into it here. I have here my double horse um, 9100 and I've already mounted this camera to it and flown around for quite some time and it works great. So we're going to talk about how do you get this uh, attached to your model uh, airplane or helicopter here. All right. First of all, what we're going to go over and what a lot of people are confused about is the power source. Um, to have it fully uh, remote, um, it suggests you use a 9 volt battery and the supply connector. Well, if you already have a power pack in your aircraft, you don't need to do that. That's just having two power packs. So what you're going to do, and this camera, this specific model, applies only if you have a 7.4 volt um, battery pack in your helicopter. The 12 volt packs will not work. You need a 12 volt camera system for that. Okay, so what we're going to look at here is how you connect this to your actual power pack. And the way I've opted to do it is to build myself my own little inline splitter using the uh, supplied cables and plugs that came with the uh, actual camera kit as well as a couple uh, JST cables that I got from a hobby store. And I just splice them, uh, splice them together, uh, cut this connector off of the 9 volt um, adapter that came with the camera kit and just pretty much wired red to red to red and black to black to black on all of them and connecting it all together using a little bit of solder and some uh, rubber shrink tubing. Um, I suggest using this other than the crimp style connectors because it's a stronger, um, lower profile, smaller size and lighter in weight. Um, so you can see it here and that's those black sections there and it actually holds up very nice and it looks professional. So using this you have your power that's already coming out of your power pack and you have where it plugs into your helicopter on the side and all you have to do is put this in line you got your battery connection there alright and then you give your helicopter connection there so let me power this up and as you can see my helicopter powers up just fine so go ahead and turn that off and then you have your additional connection down here and you just wire that right into the camera. Now, another method of doing it, and that'll be posted in a later review. Let me get this camera off of here to go over it with you. Bear with me a second. you'll see I went ahead and spliced the power connection off of this camera um, to go ahead and test the voltage and make sure all of my my ideas of the wiring and everything was correct but as soon as I did that um, my actual hopes were since this is advertised as a 8 volt camera that I wouldn't need this heavy connector here and this heavy connector is about the weight of the camera itself here you'll see the connector itself weighing in at 7.7 .7 grams whereas the camera itself is weighing in at about 9.8 grams so this coupled with the other end of the connection let me go ahead and detach that as well so these two just the black connections here are weighing in at well over 10 grams so that's weight that we don't need or want but unfortunately um, it appears that there is a resistor inside this connector that is dropping our voltage down to about five to six volts um, and then split along two different rails one for the actual transmitter and one for the camera and of course our black is ground so in a future review I will be looking at what resistor to use to eliminate this, both of these connectors, 
and just go straight from this camera to a JST style plug like this. That way we can save the weight, have it plugged directly in, and have be able to unplug it to use on different vehicles as needed. Um, overall, the range of this thing is advertised at about 200, uh, 200 to 500 feet, and it seems very accurate. Um, I've been able to get over 200 feet line of sight. Um, the receiver is nice, has an adjustable antenna and fine tuning. Um, but the thing is, you're not going to be able to put this inside and go outside and fly the helicopter. It doesn't like going through walls very much. That's going to greatly limit your range. Um, you're much better uh, using it as an outdoor line of sight uh, system. And although this is advertised at 12 volts, um, the actual receiver is 8 volts. What that means is we can go ahead and purchase another lithium polymer pack. Um, go ahead and purchase a 7.4 volt. Um, buy a connector either at Radio Shack or splice one of the ones that come with it. And we should be able to plug in a lithium polymer pack right into this so we have actual wireless, not needing any power from the wall socket, which is something that's great. And that's where if you do do this method and then you step up to the method without these connectors, you can reuse this. Um, just disregard the actual extra connector that goes to your helicopter. It'll work just fine if you just plug a battery pack straight into this. Alright, so once again, um, if you purchase this camera, it's great for use uh, FPV in small lightweight helicopters. You'll get a few hundred feet of good video. Um, it is a 420 uh, TV line video signal, unlike a lot of the other ones, which are only in the 300 range. So you do get a better picture resolution with this camera.